Hi friends, welcome to classes by Lab Doctor. In today's class, let us discuss about a ratio called as cholesterol to HDL ratio. So, when you see a lipid profile, you have various parameters. You have total cholesterol, you have HDL cholesterol, you have LDL cholesterol, triglyceride, uh, and there are few ratios. Like you can see here, total cholesterol to HDL cholesterol ratio, triglycerides to HDL ratio, LDL to HDL ratio, HDL to LDL ratio. All these ratios are also given in the lipid profile. So, let us understand uh, today about this total cholesterol to HDL cholesterol ratio. So, now when I say ratio, we are comparing between two things. So, when I have to uh, buy a dress, if I have only one dress, that is the only dress I have nothing to compare. I might, I will have to take the same dress. But when I have a choice, when I am comparing it uh, with something else, then my uh, choice can improve. Similarly, instead of just taking total cholesterol, instead of just taking a HDL, instead of just taking an LDL, uh, these ratios help us uh, to understand the risk probabilities much better than the single parameter itself. So, uh, let us see how uh, this will help us. So, when I say uh, cholesterol to HDL ratio, this is the comparison between your total cholesterol and your HDL. You know that total cholesterol will have HDL, it also has LDL. Okay, so when we say total cholesterol is increased, we don't know what is increased. We It might be HDL, it might be LDL. So, just because the cholesterol is increased, we cannot tell that, okay, this patient is having an increased risk of heart disease. It definitely tells us that, yes. So, uh, now your cholesterol, total cholesterol which could be high, it could be because of LDL. If it is because of an LDL, then the chances of uh, heart attack or this atherosclerotic risk is more compared to when the cholesterol is increased because of an HDL. If HDL is increased, then also your cholesterol, total cholesterol can increase. But the increase in HDL is a good thing. So, that is cardio protective. So, uh, just taking a single number instead of that, if we take a ratio, if we compare it with other parameter, this will help us to understand that parameter, assess the risk much better. So, you know that when I say total cholesterol, it is LDL plus HDL and also triglyceride, 20% of the triglyceride. So, LDL is 100, HDL is almost 70, triglyceride is 150. So, 100 plus 70, 150 triglyceride divided by 5, that is 30. So, it is 200. So, once the cholesterol is less than 200, that is ideal, that is what we want. If it is elevated, it is between 200 to 239 and if it is high, it is more than 240. So, this cholesterol can be elevated because of LDL or HDL and even the triglycerides here. So, HDL, it is a good cholesterol. If it is more than 60, it is optimum, very good. If it is uh, more than 40 in men, if it is more than 50 in women, it is very good. If it is less than 40 or less than 35, then it is a risk, low HDL. If it is less than 35, 40, it is low HDL. So, how do we calculate this ratio? We will take the cholesterol and we will also take the HDL. When we run the sample, we will get the cholesterol value and also we will get the HDL value. So, then we divide this. So, if your total cholesterol is for example 180 and your HDL cholesterol is optimum, it is 60, your cholesterol ratio is 3 is to 1. So, the higher the ratio, so if this ratio is higher, that means your risk is higher. If the cholesterol to HDL ratio is higher, the risk of you getting uh, the heart disease is higher. So, see here, this is optimum. If it is less than 3.5, if the lower the ratio, it is optimum. The higher the ratio, if it is more than 6, it is considered as a risk. So, 
absolute values like i say total cholesterol or if i say hdl ldl this absolute values of cholesterol are important another way to look at them is in the form of this ratio comparing your total cholesterol to your hdl cholesterol so if your total cholesterol is 3 and hdl cholesterol is 1.5 then your total cholesterol to hdl ratio is okay so lot of studies have been uh, done here to understand this ratio with the heart disease and they have found out that if you are having a lesser number your risk is less though you are i am not talking about the cholesterol see the uh, whatever the cholesterol may be but when i take two parameters and i am taking a ratio if you are getting a lower ratio that tells us much more uh, that gives us much more information about your uh, atherosclerotic uh, heart disease or cardiac risk so a value which is less than 3.5 is a very optimal value it says that there is less risk of a heart disease compared to a ratio which is more than 6 so the normal cholesterol to hdl ratio we want it to be less if it is below 3.5 to 1 it is very good this ratio is optimal putting you at a lower risk of heart disease so they uh, doctors prefer to see that the cholesterol levels are in this range suppose if your ratio is uh, more than 5 or more than 6 this says that your risk of developing a heart disease is more so when you are getting a higher ratio if the ratio is between total cholesterol and hdl if the ratio is high that means what your hdl your good cholesterol is less but your total cholesterol is high now why the total cholesterol is high it could be because of your ldl your tgs your vldl okay so along with this if there are other risk factors like you eating a lot of eating a lot of saturated fats not getting enough exercise aging etc all of this will contribute to your developing the heart disease so understand that this cholesterol to hdl ratio it is very important because once the ratio is more it says that your hdl is less so there might be too much of ldl cholesterol in the blood and if there is too much of ldl cholesterol that is the one which is contributing to your increased cholesterol level also and that is the one which is contributing to your atherosclerosis also it also tells you that the whenever the ratio is uh, very high it also tells you that you are much more at a risk to develop your heart disease stroke peripheral vascular disease etc so now how to improve this ratio or how to reduce the cholesterol or improve your hdl you will have to make some lifestyle changes so lifestyle changes would be you have to eat uh, food that is less in saturated fat trans fats you have to have a good choice of food you have to eat more of uh, fruits vegetables whole grams uh, lean protein etc you will have to maintain a healthy weight because having excess body weight is a risk factor for or abnormal cholesterol level so if you are overweight losing even uh, 5 to 10 kg weight also can improve your cholesterol levels also you will have to engage in some kind of an activity uh, so that uh, your cholesterol level uh, comes down at least an activity of 30 to 40 minutes per day uh, per week has to be done so that your uh, body is uh, accustomed to this so that your cholesterol level comes down you have to manage your stress level either get adequate sleep or do something which you like doing it could be yoga it could be just a walk or something a good quality sleep itself is a cheapest and best way to reduce your uh, cholesterol quit smoking if you are smoking and and sometimes we also need to give you the medications and uh, along with lifestyle changes we need to take certain medication to reduce the cholesterol level remember cholesterol ratio may be one of the tests which is uh, reported in your lipid profile 
it is always better when we have a choice to compare two things and uh, when we uh, calculate this ratio we'll come to know what is the risk of a heart disease of risk of developing stroke etc in a much better way when i say total cholesterol is increased it could be anything it could be uh, only the hdl it could be ldl but when we take a ratio if you are getting a ratio less than 3.5 it suggests that the risk is less yes if the ratio is increasing that means the hdl is getting low the total cholesterol is increasing that could be because of your ldl that could be because of your vldl etc so ratio gives us a much better understanding of the risk assessment so that was all about the total cholesterol to hdl ratio thank you so much for watching the video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you